Welcome back guys to my series of Pixar reviews leading out to Incredibles 2. Before I start this review, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt because I'm filming this in the same day as Toy Story 1. And also number 2, yep, I'm skipping A Bug's Life because I have not seen A Bug's Life. I know a lot of people are like disliking the comments. Guys, I really wanted to see A Bug's Life. I just never get time to watch it and get all these reviews done. There's so many stuff happening. So maybe when Toy Story 4 is coming out next year, I'll review A Bug's Life. How about that? But now let's skip A Bug's Life and go ahead with the sequel to the first Toy Story, Toy Story 2. I'm going to let go of the wall. Uh, what? He would. Uh, One. He would. Yeah. Two. No, 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 no. Five. Three. Ah. Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Toy Story 2. So Toy Story 2 came out in 1999, so this is four years after the first Toy Story movie. Not the events, I meant like the release dates. And this movie took from the same director, John Lassender, and stars the same cast with Tom Hanks and Tim Allen, and also some new toys in the film as well. So basically, in Toy Story 2, we get Woody. He is taken by a toy collector named Al, and basically all his old friends have to go get Woody back, and while Woody is there, he meets some new friends, including Jesse, Bullseye the Horse, and Prospector, known as Stinky Pete. So basically, this movie has a lot of new characters, but the thing is, is this movie better than the first Toy Story? Well, to me, let's cut Toy Story 3 for now. Pretend this is 1999. If I went out of this movie, well, I wasn't even born in 1999. I was born a year after. But if I was, like, living in 1999 and I walked out of this movie, I would be, like, cross-minded because I love both of them, too. I just can't think which one is better. I could say this is one of the best Pixar sequels ever made. That isn't really saying much because we got that movie too. But yeah, Toy Story 2 is still a fantastic Pixar film. This film, it has more stuff. It's bigger than the first movie. It has more new characters. It has more lessons and more emotional scenes, which I'll talk about that later. But let's start with the positives. First, the animation. I did mention in the first movie that the animation, it's the very first 3D animation. This movie, I think it does improve a lot with the animation. It looks more hold up than the first one. Not trying to say the first one holds up, like, less. It's still great animation, but I think Toy Story 2's animation is a little bit better. I love the look of the movie. It's very light and bright. It's great color schemes and all that stuff. Also, the characters are still the memorable characters we've seen in the first movie. Woody and Buzz still have a great chemistry in this film. You can tell now they are friends. They're best friends. And you can tell they're not hating each other anymore. They're just still buds from the first Toy Story movie. But also the new characters are great as well. Let's talk about Jessie. Now Jessie, when I first saw her in the film, when I rewatched it, I'm pretending it's like the first time I watched it. She is a bit annoying at the first part, but she does have a very emotional past, which makes Jessie one of the best characters in the Toy Story movies, in my personal opinion. The backstory is that Jessie used to have an owner named Amy, and basically she donated her, she threw her away. And that's a big fear for everyone because everyone thinks Amy is Andy's mom. Would I agree with that? Absolutely. Here is why. Because there is a scene where Andy ripped Woody's arm, right? And you see like the mom like saying we should fix on the way and Andy's like, nah, I'm not gonna take him. And she puts him up in the cupboard and she said, you know honey, toys don't last forever. And yes, that could be someone else. Saying that because usually that's a lesson. Toys don't always last forever. Poor toys. But the way she's saying it, you feel like she has a past as well. We don't know anything about Andy's mom. So maybe Andy's mom is Emily. I think that's a pretty good theory. And if we do figure out that, like, you know, Andy's mom is Amy, I think we would have had a bit bigger story. Or at least, like, she holds Jesse saying, Oh my god, I used to have one of those. And Jesse would have been so shocked. He's like, that is my owner. That used to be my owner. I hope they make it that in Toy Story 4. If they don't, that's fine. But I think that will be like an interesting concept. But also the other new characters is great. The Prospector is a bit of a flaw for me because he feels like an old typical cliche villain. And it, it's just rushed the way he is the villain because it's like the writers are like thinking, oh, we need a villain for a Pixar film. So Let's just make him as the villain. And it came out fast. It's like when they're going to Japan to be one of those collective sales in the museum. 
you just see him just like saying, oh, I'm the bad guy now, you guys aren't going anywhere. And like, it just, it just felt rushed, and that was my biggest flaw with Toy Story 2, but that is it, just with the prospective character. It, it's not that I hate his character, it's just like the villain aspect is a little bit rushed from his character. But guys, I still like the soundtrack of this movie, it's way more amazing from the first movie. That scene with Jessie getting donated, that song that When She Loved Me or whatever that song is, it matches, it matches that scene because it makes it seem more emotional. And that song, I still have in my head. After I watched Toy Story 2, I just bought that song in my head. And it's a beautiful song, and it's a very sad song, and it matches with that scene. And we also get Woody's Roundup song, which still holds up to me. It's actually a pretty underrated song. I actually really like that song because it reminds me what it's like from Toy Story movies. And yes, Toy Story 2 is actually more my childhood than the first movie. Yeah, I watched Toy Story 2. More than the first movie when I was a child. Yeah, I know, it's weird because the first Toy Story is a classic. This one's one of the best sequels. It wasn't, like, the greatest movie out there, but I watched this movie more than Toy Story 1 because I did enjoy this movie a little bit more than Toy Story 1 because it's more bigger. But now, I just can't pick which one's my favorite Toy Story movie. This movie does have a lot of memorable scenes. I love the road crossing scene with Buzz and the gang. That was a lot of fun. Also, the Toy Story scene with the Barbies. That scene always made me laugh. Till this day, especially when Mr. Potato Head, he's now married to Mrs. Potato Head, and he was just like, I'm a marriage man, I'm a marriage man, when he's just right next to Barbie when she's like the tour guide or something like that. I always laugh during that scene because that is really hilarious scene. And also, my favorite scene in time is the airport scene, the final act when Jesse got locked in a plane and Woody has to save Jesse before the plane leaves. And it's really well handled scene because they're toys and they're facing something more bigger. Like, in the end of Toy Story 1, they had to escape from the truck, you know what I mean? They had to go to the truck. That's where, like, they're moving to a new house. This one, airport. Way more bigger, bigger planes, and from a perspective of a toy, it is scary. And I really love that last act of the movie. It was so freaking enjoyable. Guys, Toy Story 2 is still holds up to this day. To me, it's one of the best Pixar sequels ever freaking made and I think Pixar gets better and better after Toy Story 2 but if I haven't like seen Monster Zinc and all that stuff I still say this and Toy Story 1 so far are my favorite Pixar films. On my range scale Toy Story 2 gets an A+. Plus. <laughs> Yeah, I just can't pick between two. I gave these two double A pluses because I love them both. So guys, my next Pixar review is going to be Monsters, Inc. Yeah, but another Pixar film, a different one, not another Toy Story one. Let's get Toy Story out of the way and let's go with Monsters, Inc. So guys, let me know down below if you have seen Toy Story 2. Do you like the film or hate the film? Just let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.